Welcome to my Las Vegas workshop, live demo and photo tutorial. I am Barry Grossman, and I have been photographing interior design and architecture for well over 20 years, pushing 30 years. And um, I predominantly shoot custom homes, uh, luxury real estate for a pretty wide range of clients across the country. Um, and these images that I'm going to share with you today are from such a shoot. This is actually one of the workshops that we did um, last year in Vegas. We actually shot two amazing homes for a developer. Now, this workshop was sponsored by Capture Integration and Phase One. So all of the images that I'm running through right now at the beginning of the slideshow are photos that were taken at the workshop either by me with with the other photographers kind of assisting or by the photographers with other photographers and myself assisting them so it's actually kind of a cool experience to you know to be a part of you know not just from my perspective but i, I can i'll speak on behalf of myself it's it's a great collaborative community and when you're out with this beautiful subject matter with the best equipment in the world um, it gives you time to talk about and think about why you shoot, um, why you strategize in terms of where your camera placement is, how you light, and just overall try to tell the story of the space. That's always my kind of top priority. Anybody that knows my work knows that my, you know, my style, if you will, has always been one of a storytelling style. Um, I went to film school for eight years <laughs> and, uh, you know, work with a lot of film directors and I was a cinematographer for about 10 years in the industry. And that's kind of my, the foundation of my work. So again, you're looking at photos that I can proudly say were taken by my photographer attendees. I did all the post-production on these. And so we kind of did a lot of shooting together, um, in groups of two or three or four. Um, and, really kind of came up with some amazing compositions of this beautiful home, actually two homes. Um, again, the goal of, of each of these workshops is really for people to kind of get a sense of who I am, how I shoot, and why I shoot the way I do. Um, it's not just about the how, but it's about the why. I think that's really, if, if, if you take away anything from this uh, meeting today from me, I, I hope it's, you know, not just about, you know, the, the A's and the B's and the C's and, and how things work in Photoshop and in Capture One, but more about how can you improve your work, you know, and why do you do certain things when you're, when you're lighting and why do you do certain things when you're composing? This is a really challenging picture. And um, this is actually, again, taken by one of the, one of the groups at my workshop. And when they set this up, I was like, wow, you guys really wanted to struggle with this one, didn't you? Because there's a ton of glass in this bathroom, a very challenging perspective. And I actually think ultimately um, they had a lot of light layers. I, I ended up creating something that was pretty clean for them, a uh, challenging room to shoot. And this is actually the, the, the main house from, that we shot on day two. And both homes were, were, were built and designed by SunWest Custom Homes out of Las Vegas. Most of what you're seeing here is directly out of Capture One with the Phase One IQ4150 into Photoshop, some light layering. And for those of you who have never attended my workshops, we're going to get into a little bit of that in terms of how I light an interior. And then back into Capture One for final post. Most of my clients are architects and interior designers, and I don't just shoot homes. I shoot a lot of um, commercial spaces as well, mixed use commercial spaces. That's very popular, at least in South Florida where I am. So you have uh, a, a building that has residential, it has commercial, it has retail, um, and those are really challenging to shoot. I've been shooting with phase one equipment since 2003 and sprinkled throughout this slideshow, you're gonna see some images that I don't, I hope don't feel dated, but they are dated <laughs> um, back a ways. And so this is actually another one of those that I'm going to guess was created in about 2012. So this would have been 2013. Yeah. This is a more recent shoot. This is shot with the IQ4150. 
and this is actually shot for an architectural, commercial architectural firm and, and also for the GC. And so again, when I'm, when I shoot exteriors, I try to make them feel special. Um, a little bit of lighting done on this, but mostly this is just natural light and light blending, which was what we're going to be doing tonight. I also shoot for um, some hotel and resort brands, and this is a beautiful hotel in South Beach. This is when I first demoed the IQ4 150 with Phase One's XT um, technical camera body. And if anybody knows of anything about the technical camera world, um, it's a huge advantage when you're shooting interiors and architecture. You know, the ability of the lens to stay, to stay fixed in space, hopefully parallel to the subject matter, and for the digital back or the sensor to rise or fall or go left and right is really a massive advantage. And this is shot with a Rodenstock 23 millimeter, which is give or, give or take about a 14 millimeter uh, in DSLR um, world in terms of field of view. So a pretty wide angle lens, and that's pretty straight, you guys. Very, very kind of clean way to shoot buildings. Now, interestingly enough, this was uh, an image that I created with a stitch. And we did a webinar on this uh, about a month ago, where this was created from, I think it was five images. It was three horizontal stitches from the top to bottom, and then two lighting layers <laughs> in the middle of that. So if you see in the background where the furnishings are, those were all lit by my by my assistant with a couple of strobes. And so this, essentially, this is three images shot with a technical camera system, horizontally stitched from top to bottom. And that offers some pretty cool advantages, not only from an image clarity and resolution perspective, but from a kind of, what's the word? Uh, um, the perspective of the optics uh, of the lens. So I ended up shooting this twice. I shot this with the 23, which is the very wide, and it really felt wide. Um, and if it still looked dramatic, but when you with the, the appropriate focal length lens is always better and, 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 and by appropriate, nothing too wide most of the time, just to help kind of create that perspective and proportion. So things in the foreground don't get really overly exaggerated and the building feels like it does if you were standing on the side of the pool. Um, a lot of my work are, is comprised of these types of vignettes. Um, and this is shot, you'd like to say, I would love to say with all natural lighting, but that is actually not the case. Um, I'll let you guys try to figure out where I placed my strobe lighting for this one, but it's, this is comprised of about three different light layers and one ambient layer to create that vibe. And this is shot with my um, phase one IQ 260 and the 40 millimeter lens cropped in a little. So this is probably really feels more like a normal lens after the crop. Um, a key component to what I love about, you know, and get excited about in terms of my shooting is lighting. And I'm always looking for special moments to shoot. Um, and that for me is camera placement, as well as um, looking for sunrise, looking for sunset, looking for shadows cast in the, in, in the interior to create some drama and tell a story. And when light doesn't come into the space, well, we throw it into the space. And so this is an image comprised of quite a few strobe layers and just having a little bit of fun, why not? When you have clients that are creative, they usually give you that kind of leeway to do creative things. And so I mentioned that um, I come from a film school background and uh, <laughs> You know, I, I just did a, a, a webinar with the folks at Capture Integration. I started to think about, you know, what inspires me. And, you know, films of the 30s and 40s inspired me <laughs> to, begin, to pick up a, a, a film camera and a movie camera for that matter. And so these are a couple of really special movie stills from Citizen Kane, one of my favorite all-time classic Hollywood films, Greg Toland, cinematographer. And not that my work these days looks a lot like this, but certainly my older work did. And I still think there's a through line in terms of how I'm shooting today that was affected by some of those images. And this is German Expressionism, the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, 
F.W. Murnau. And, you know, these types of images just stuck with me for years. This is the original Blade Runner in the 80s, so about 50 years after what we were just looking at. And um, Jordan Cronin, West Cinematographer, you know, this is the kind of stuff that just got me excited. And so when I first started shooting interiors um, with film, these are the kind of looks that I was going for. So this is all four by five film. You know, doing the best I can to create some mood and drama. This is shot with my phase one H20, one of the first digital backs that they came out with. Um, and this is a very long exposure in New York City. Flash forward, this is the IQ 260 with the Cambo technical camera system. A lot, this is actually more than one exposure, but essentially this image is comprised of a long exposure with my assistants going up and down that tunnel, popping the inside of that tunnel. This is really at the beginning of when I started to explore multiple light layers in addition to um, inside of Photoshop as opposed to doing it all in one frame, which is what this basically was. This is maybe 12 or 14 pops with the lens open at night. And flash forward to today, this is certainly a more current shoot. This is something I did this year, and I'm still exploring quality of light to, to help tell a story. Um, this is a mixed use commercial interior, and I'll give you one little peek behind kind of how we do this. And so it's not just that one umbrella, I'll back up one click, that creates this vibe, but it's, I believe, three. And so three basic light pops moving up and down the room create those shadows across the, the table, create the shadows across the back wall. And then with Photoshop, I mask them in. This image was created at our first workshop for capture integration. And same thing here, just having a little bit of fun with spotlights, spotlighting, and I'll back up again, throughout the space just to create some pop. And it's a beautiful space, but Without those little pops, it becomes very kind of flat feeling. And here's another kind of version of the same thing. Multiple exposures, advanced light masking to create, well, in this case, a relatively subtle effect of a light shaft coming through the room. And I've added a couple more to this slideshow because I want to create some Vegas pictures in this slideshow. Um, and you see that not is all that it appears. And so I, I really love to put my lighting in the shot as close to the, <clears throat> as close to the center of the shot as possible to create my looks. So here's just one or two kind of flash frames. A couple more behind the scenes shots from our workshops, um, setting up, with the, that's the Cambo um, technical camera and these are various images from our Vegas workshop and the one we did at the Boca Resort in South Florida. It's a great one. And again, lots of great experiences for, for other photographers to come explore the equipment. And I just love it. You know, it, wandering through these spaces and working with photographers is something I've discovered I really love. Um, this is the first or the second time I got to play with the Phase 1 XT technical camera. It is very, very tiny um, and a really beautifully engineered piece of equipment. That um, extension bellows on the front makes the camera look way bigger than it really is. And we're here to talk about our workflow. <laughs> and I appreciate you bearing with me through that slideshow. Uh, but we're, we, I wanted to talk about the workflow of how we created this image. And again, this is an image that was taken by, I believe, three of my uh, workshop attendees. And if you look very carefully inside the house there, you'll see yours truly and a few of us setting up for another image <laughs> at the same time. I just love that they managed to capture that particular moment 